7.34 on a Friday morning and you are hearing the sounds of our Point Fortin native because we are getting ready to head to Point for Borrow Day once more. I couldn't hold it back because when that calendar event dropped, I know Trinidad shook a little bit as we get ready to celebrate the return of Borrow Day. And to do that, I'm joined by her worship, Salima McCree Thomas, the mayor of Point Fortin, and Councillor Brianna Fortune John as well. Good morning, ladies, and Good welcome morning. to the Now Morning Good Show. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. The red is completely coincidental, but very <laughs> apt, because this is one of the staples, one of the flagship events yes. for the country. Yes. Yes. I must admit, I've never been, but from the calendar alone, I know we have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do. So to start, tell me what the thought process was at the prospect of even being able to redo Point Fort in Borrow Day. Well, good morning again to you, Ayanka, and to the nation of right. Trinidad and Tobago, and to my beautiful burgesses of Point Fort in. Oh, you know, I have to. Of course you do. <laughs> yes. So, the resettable, we're calling it the rebirth, mm -hmm. because we know we have been in this pandemic for almost two years. Right. So, after hearing the Prime Minister's announcement two weeks ago, even before his announcement, we would have started the planning and preparation for right. some form of celebration. Right. Would have been on a very small scale. However, after his official announcement and given way to the nation to somewhat go back to normal by the 4th of April, which was on Monday, we began redoing mm -hmm. the calendar of events. We are more the calendar of events would have expanded from one week right. over the years to two weeks, and now we have a three-week calendar of a events. whole month. Yes, <laughs> so much preparation and thought has been going into this even during that two-year period while we were on the lockdown. Now, as you said, it, it went from a week to two to three. I have never been. Councillor, what have I missed? You've missed a lot. <laughs> 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 Luckily for you. You have the opportunity to be a part of this year's celebration Absolutely. after um, not being able to host the event for two years. Right. So you've missed a great lot. What I always hear about is the juve, but there is a lot beyond that. So tell me what are some of the, I guess, returning or the, the existing, if we will, elements, mm -hmm. and then perhaps you can get into what is new. Okay. Walk me through. I'll allow you, Mayor, to walk you through the events. And okay. That. All right. Well, seeing that you brought the Juve to the forefront, <laughs> and I think that is what the nation wants to hear. Given my statement two weeks ago, and I will take the opportunity this morning, mm -hmm. after much consultation with the key stakeholders in the borough of Point Fortin and uh, the council, we have now decided to have some form of Juve. My announcement two weeks ago was no street parade, mm. However, I have to take into account, you know, and hear my people, especially the local content, you know, because part of the celebration, so what the celebration was all about, it was designed for, to boost the economic um, development in our community. And, you know, over the two years, what would have happened? A lot would have been lost. So now we have taken back our decision from not having juvie celebrations to now having some form of rejuvenation, we are calling it, and more details will be further announced as the days go along. I had to start there because yes. <laughs> that was one of the things someone noted that they didn't see an actual date for Juve just yet, but there are quite a few events that yes. will be happening. Yes. So let's go into the actual calendar because sure. this starts on the 17th of April. Yes. We are almost there. Yes. So. That first week is the week of sporting activities. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, point fourteen, knowing the having to be called the mecca of sports, mm -hmm. and you know we take great pride in that. So hence the reason why we have our first week of sporting activities. And if you don't mind, I go through the calendar sure, with sure, you. Sure. Because this is yes. Easter weekend, so there will be the opportunity yes. for everybody to yes. come through. Yeah. Yes. So as we go through the Sunday, the seventeenth, we will have netball mm -hmm. at the show in Julian Recreation Ground from two p.m. And then we move on to the 18th of April, which is the Monday. We have a one-day tennis tournament at our Coronation, Coronation Park. Mm -hmm. Tuesday 19th, cricket competition. Wednesday 20th of April, futsal tournament. You will want to know. I think that is more small goal. Okay, right. Small goal type. <laughs> I was ask. Yeah. 
Thursday the 21st of April basketball tournament uh, and on Friday the 22nd of April is our official launch ah. where is the cultural part of it okay where we will have you know soca artists calypso artists um, you know, a taste of everything. Right. You know, from the carnival experience that you're accustomed to. Which makes sense because if I look at the calendar holistically, apart from the sport, there is the community elements, as you also say, and then mm. you even have a wellness fair, there are parades. Yes. It's a really dynamic yes. three weeks of events. Yes. It's incredible. Yes. This culminates uh, the 26th of May, though. So that means we are going well beyond. Yes. Uh, well, what you see here, that's the post calendar of event. We mm -hmm. usually, this is something we normally do, the youth events mm -hmm. takes place after, okay. and that is with the primary and secondary school competitions. Ah. And then just below the calendar, and fine print, you know, the community events are more, these are the private ah, um, okay, promoters. Okay. Their, their events. Right, that so that will they will need to go somewhere to find out how to get the tickets or how to get into those yes. events. So are we going to a website? Is there any numbers we can call? How do yes. we, the non-natives, get into <laughs> Point Fortin and find out what to do? Right, so all this information is you can visit the Point Fortin Borough Council and Point Fortin Borough Corporation Facebook and uh, website mm -hmm. uh, pages. Uh, and uh, we have a very active uh, mm -hmm. public relations person on our council that continuously continue to promote and advertise all the information that is needed via social media. I will be in communication, my, my office will be in communication with the, the media industry right. with regards to all the information. Our numbers are 6483129 and the mayor's number is no secret, 722-2195. Now, Brianna, you are on the ground. You mentioned, of course, that sense of community is a big part of things. And I, I have to ask you to speak on behalf of the people in terms of what it means to have this rebirth after how many years of the birthday is it? Two oh, years. Two years. Twenty years. Right, but the birthday mm. itself has been celebrated for more than that, for yes, sure. Yes, this is our 40th second That's anniversary. That's what I Decades, decades <laughs> of birthday. Yes. How are the people responding to this rejuvenation? <laughs> the people are thrilled. <laughs> they are ecstatic. They are... I mean, if Bordy could start from tomorrow, <laughs> they'll be happy. <laughs> um, I'm just to piggyback on what the mayor said, especially as it relates to the local economic development. A lot of the young entrepreneurs, because the pandemic would have pushed a lot of people into becoming mm -hmm. more enterprising mm -hmm. after losing their jobs mm -hmm. and so forth. So now, given the opportunity for this span of three weeks, which people go, oh, so many weeks, but yes, mm -hmm. it is needed so that the young persons that are coming up that are opening their businesses, they're just calling um, council. Um, can we come out on the streets to mm -hmm. sell? What is the what is the structure in place? Because everybody wants to know yeah. not just how to revel, as we'll say, but how we can yeah. do something to earn a living mm -hmm. also. So it means a lot to the people of Point Fourteen. Mm -hmm. All the entire demographic, everyone is looking mm -hmm. forward to Point Fourteen Borough celebrations. Well, are coming down, right? right. Coming down. <laughs> And I'm looking, We're looking forward, forward to yes. having that sense of community, having that sense of self pride, and that rejuvenation, that mm. reignited sense of self is what I'm hearing more than anything else, mm, yes. which transcends any calendar of events and celebration. Uh, yes. So perhaps see itself happening all through the year, Correct. not just a seasonal thing. And for yes. that, I thank you more than anything. Mm -hmm. We, the people of Trinbago, need to continue to celebrate ourselves. See, the heroes in ourselves is something I'm seeing all day long. And these ladies, uh, the councillor, Brianna Fortune John, and of course her worship, Salima McCree Thomas, making sure that we do exactly that starting in Point Fortin with the official launch on the 22nd of April. Guys, we're getting ready to head to Point, and after that, you might see me on the morning show, but you will see me <laughs> after the break. I don't know how I'll survive. I have three weeks of things to go through. Yeah. For now, though, we are going to take a break. We're coming back with more entertainment here in our morning show. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. But you at home, stick around, guys. Mm -hmm. We head into point with music now. Yeah.